was an average dog. She went and and but when she ate some alphabet soup, then what happened was bizarre. On the way to Martha's stomach, the letters lost their way. They traveled to her brain, and now she's got a lot to say. Now she speaks. How now, brown cow? Martha speaks. Yeah, she speaks and speaks and speaks and speaks and speaks. What's a caboose? What are we eating again? Martha speaks. Hey, Joe, what do you know? My name's not Joe. She's not always right, but still that Martha speaks. Hi there. She's got a voice. She's ready to shout. Martha will tell you what it's all about. Sometimes wrong, but seldom in doubt. Martha will tell you what it's all about. That dog's unique. Testing one two. Hear her speak. Martha speaks and speaks and speaks and speaks and. Okay, okay, listen up, people. The annual Barkton Animal Rescue Variety Show fundraiser is only next week. Ticket sales are not spectacular. So far this year, we have Arthur Barkley doing his hand shadows again. I wish we had something really special to get people in the seats. Something really big. Ideas? Anyone? What about a singing dog? Yeah, anybody. No, really. I heard a dog on the radio. She had that advice show a while back. She lives a couple of towns over in Wagstaff City. Oh, she'd be terrific. Agnes might be right. Maybe a talking dog singing a solo could be a big draw. Wonderful. You want me to help you with your animal rescue variety show fundraiser? Well, yeah, so we thought maybe you'd like to do a little number. Well, it doesn't have to be a little number. I can count pretty high. 101, 102, 103. <laughs> no, when I say do a little number, I don't mean counting. A number can also mean a song that someone sings. That's what we want you to do. Sing a solo number. I loved you. Oh, fantastic. Uh, the concert is this Saturday. We'll rehearse all that afternoon. Agnes, a lady from our group, will pick you up at the bus stop outside the Squiggy Piggy Mart at noon. Okay. Meantime, I'll be practicing. Me, 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 oh! Me, me, me! What are you doing? Vocal exercises for my solo on Saturday. A uh, solo, in case you didn't know, it's a song sung by one person all by themselves. That's wonderful! Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red! La 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 Bothering Mrs. Dempson. Oh well. Me my moo mo my moo. Me my map. Okay, I'm off to rehearsal now. I'll call you and tell you where the theater is. Okay, Martha. You wait here like a good girl. I'll be right back. Martha, it's me. Agnes, I'm with the Barkton Animal Rescue Group. I wasn't certain how I'd recognize you, but then I thought, you know, just look for the dog at the bus stop, and, well, here you are. <laughs> yes, right. Why am I yammering on and on? We should get to rehearsal. I'm sorry, the rescue group can't afford a limousine. Goodness, my hands are shaking. It's the first time I've met a real celebrity. <laughs> All right, off we go. <laughs> Martha, where are you, Martha? Martha! I'm right here. No, you're not Martha. Martha's a white lab. She's tall and thin. You're stubby and round and freckled. And she doesn't talk. Oh, man. First I lose my dog, and then I lose my mind. Pull yourself together, Jennifer. Pull yourself together. <sighs> oh, I'm supposed to sing, aren't I? Hello, I am Martha. <coughs> ah, now you're singing, you're talking, and you're singing, and I still can't find my dog. Martha! Yes! 
Stop following me, talking doggy, and stop calling me. I'm not calling you, I'm calling my dog. Martha! Your dog's name is Martha? Wow, what a coincidence. Well, I'd help you find her, but someone's picking me up at that bus stop. Although, we've never met in... Uh, where did you say you left your Martha? You don't think... Martha! Martha, I can't tell you how happy we are to have you singing in our little show. Now, we thought it might be fun if a few of the members of the fundraising committee formed a little chorus behind you. <laughs> and uh, a bit of a diva, is she? No, I'm pretty sure she's Labrador. <laughs> I'm not talking about the dog breed. A diva means a famous female singer or a woman who acts like nothing is good enough for her. <laughs> Guess which one I mean. Perhaps you'd like a snack before we rehearse? Go ahead. You're sure my dog is safe? Absolutely. I bet she's with the people from the shelter now. All you have to do is drive over and get her. Okay, so where is this concert taking place? Uh... Guess I should have asked where this fundraiser was happening. Oh no, poor Martha. <gasps> I know! Kazuo! He runs the Wagstaff Animal Shelter. He'll know if another shelter is doing a fundraiser. Follow me! Looks like our star is ready to rehearse. All right, places every... What on earth is she doing? Um, she's warming up. Perhaps we could all join her? <laughs> well, come on, everyone. I told my Martha to wait outside the grocery store, but the other animal shelter person thought my Martha was their Martha, which is really this Martha, and drove my Martha away, leaving this Martha behind. We need to find the shelter doing the fundraiser so I can sing my solo, and Jennifer can get her dog back. Oh, that's it. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, up on your feet. Here we go. I think we've done enough warming up, don't you, Martha? Now, we picked out this lovely little tune for you. What did I say? Well, you shouldn't have called it a tune. <laughs> a diva like Martha wants something grand like an aria. An aria is a song sung in an opera by an opera star. This is an aria. It's so big and dramatic. See? Uh, now, Martha, maybe you can help us pick out a nice little tune, uh, Aria, to sing. Hello, are you doing a concert with the singing dog? Huh? Maybe I should do the talking. Hello, I'm a talking dog and... Or not. Now this is a lovely one. It's by Puccini. <gasps> Well, uh, of course, you'd prefer to sing it a cappella. She isn't going to rehearse at all? A diva like Martha doesn't need to rehearse. Plainly, she intends to save it for the performance. Well, our diva won't have to save it for long. The house is about to open. Well, that's everyone. Except for the Barkton shelter. No one answered the phone there. Because they're getting ready for the fundraiser! It will take us about a half hour to get to Barkton. Great! We'll be just in time for the start of the show! Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for coming to our little fundraiser featuring Martha the Singing Dog. Oh no! We'll never get there! Oh, looks like a bunny, right? <laughs> Wonderful. Let's really hear it for Arthur Barkley and his shadowy hands. <laughs> and now, the moment you've been waiting for, all the way from Wagstaff City, the one, the only singing dog in the world, Martha. <sighs> uh, but first, how about some more of those hand shadows? <laughs> Made it! I hope we're not too late. Hello! Hello! Oh, of course! You wouldn't have a concert at a shelter! Does this say where it is? 
Yes! Come on, Martha, let's go. Maybe I shouldn't have yelled so much. Oh, yeah. uh, and um, uh, a bird? Not a bird. Uh, a bat? A butterfly? Bring on the dog! <laughs> should stop yelling. Martha! 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 Here she comes! Here she comes! Look! Goosebumps! Martha! Martha! Hurry! Hurry! Sorry, lady. No dogs allowed. But this is Martha. She's supposed to be singing. Who are you trying to kid? Singing dogs already inside. Uh-oh! Martha will now sing an aria by Puccini. Oh, this is gonna be good. You don't understand. That's my Martha. She was waiting at the bus stop and someone picked her up thinking my Martha was this Martha, but that Martha was my Martha, and this Martha is the Martha. Show him, Martha. Sing for him. Uh, oh, I, I think she lost her voice. <laughs> nice try, lady. Carl, it's starting. I'm going in there, but you have to stay out here. But... No buts. That's the rule. After a bowl of warm water? Yes, thank you. Hey, great solo, Martha. I can't believe you sang with a piano. I, I'm so used to you singing a cappella. A cappella? A cappella means you sing without a piano or any other instrument playing along with you. I sang a solo a cappella in a school choir once. Would you like to hear it? <coughs> home, home on the range, where the deer is. To low play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. So, what seems to be the problem? Martha says her tummy hurts. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Can you describe it for me? Is it a constant pain? Does it come and go? Uh, I mostly notice it when I walk up the stairs. Ow. 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 Or when I go through my doggy door. Ow. And I have trouble jumping in the car. Ow. <sighs> or on the bed. <laughs> Ow! Hmm. What? What is it? Have you been eating anything out of the ordinary? Not really. Tell me what you usually eat. Uh, well, I always start with a nice breakfast. <sighs> breakfast! My favorite meal! <laughs> I don't know about you, but after all that eating, I'm ready for a snack. All done. Oh, I couldn't eat another bite. Who wants samples? If you insist. I am stuffed. Come on! Nobody likes a crummy baby! Yeah. Yeah. 
Watching people eat makes me work up an appetite. Mine! <laughs> the entree was superb. And the side dishes, mwah! No more. This whale is beached. Dessert! No, I am not still stuffing my face. I am doing the pre-wash. I couldn't eat another thing. Night-night biscuits? Yeah! <sighs> There's nothing like a day full of food to make a dog feel good. I think I know what's wrong with your belly. What? There's too much of it. Uh, huh? Whoa! Be careful! Martha, we need to talk about your weight. Wait? What do you mean, wait? I'm not going anywhere. I'm all ears. <laughs> oh, Martha, there are two kinds of weight. Wait like stay here, and wait like how heavy or light something is. So, which weight are we talking about? The one that means heavy. I like a dog to have more of a waistline than this. Oh, oh, okay. So, uh, how do I do that? Do you get plenty of exercise? Uh-huh. Martha exercises a lot. We go on really long walks. And Martha swims. And we play fetch and dance and run my obstacle course. That's terrific. Keeping active is one of the best ways to stay healthy. So that means you're probably eating too much. <gasps> eating too much? That's a corker. Is there such a thing? Mm-hmm. Really? No between meal snacks. And limit Martha's portion sizes. That should get the weight off. You can count on me. <laughs> Martha, breakfast! Hey, where's the rest of my soup? The vet says I'm supposed to limit your portions, remember? Oh, well, that's okay. I don't want any portions. You can keep all those. I just want more soup. A portion isn't a kind of food. It's an amount of something that someone gives you. Usually your portion for breakfast is a whole can of soup. But because you need to lose weight, you need three quarters of a can. Oh. <laughs> I'm still hungry. <laughs> hey, I know how I can get more soup. Thanks. Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey. oh no! The smaller soup portions are messing up Martha's ability to speak. I guess we'll have to find another way to help Martha lose weight. See, Skits? I told you it were war. Too late. Hmm. I may have limited portions here, but Carl's garbage cans are still full-sized. Let's go! Oh. Hey! They're empty! Oh, Carl! Thank goodness! I hope you have samples, because I'm starved. Let her rip! <laughs> Helen called. She said between meal snacks are restricted. I'm hoping restricted is a fancy word for delicious? <laughs> no, restricted means something is limited. Helen says you're restricted to eating only at meal times. So, no between meal snacks for you. But, but Carl? Mm -mm. <laughs> Don't blame me. Blame Helen. She's the food police. Carl! <sighs> okay, no panic. Jakey won't restrict me from eating. Jakey gives me anything I want. No, no, no. 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 You can't restrict the pre-wash. All right, have it your way. But don't come crying to me when your dishes are all crusty. <sighs> This has become the house of no. <sighs> if they keep restricting my food, Skits, I am going to disappear. I am so hungry. I don't know how I'll ever get to sleep. Martha, time for breakfast. Huh? This is even less food than usual. 
Sorry, Martha. I have to limit your portion so you can lose weight. But I'm paper thin already. Hey, it's wait up! <laughs> oh, Martha, did you want to go outside? Uh, could someone help me up? What's that, Martha? You say you're ready for a walk? Okay, here we go! Hey, cool! Can I fly your dog? Okay, but don't feed her any between meal snacks. She still needs to lose weight. Why? She's light as a feather. Hang on, Martha! I'll get you down! Dream. I lost so much weight I could fit through the meal slot. I need something to get the bad taste of the dream out of my mouth. <gasps> and I know just the thing. The usual? Yeah. Wait. Uh, unless you've invented some new kind of meat. What? No? Uh, okay, the usual. And uh yeah, just put it on our bill. Oh, and uh, don't ring the doorbell. Just slide it through the doggy door. So close and yet so far. Why do I smell pizza? <gasps> Drop that slice. Why can't I have pizza? Martha, you can't just eat whatever you want. It's bad for you. I know just the thing. I saw it at the library a few weeks ago. It explains all about good nutrition and eating a balanced diet. <laughs> Food! Now that's entertainment! Hey! Slow down! You shouldn't be eating all that junk food! Why not? Because it isn't good nutrition! Nutrition? What's nutrition? We're glad you asked! Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition! Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition! Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition! My food is never this much fun! Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition! It's good food to eat to help you grow up strong like the veggies, fruit, and meat that are singing you this song! Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition! Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition! If you want to live a healthy and long life, it's important to eat a balanced diet. What's that mean? Hit it! For a healthy, balanced diet, here's a plan that can be beat. Eat your dairy, fruits, and greens, and your bread and fish and meat. For strength and the way you feel, a balanced diet is smart. So eat us up, most of all, we're good for your heart. Nutrition, 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 nutrition. Now, do you understand about nutrition and eating a balanced diet? You betcha. Seriously? Are you kidding? It was a dancing drumstick. I was hanging on every word. Does this mean you won't dig in the garbage or beg for snacks anymore? No. I'm a dog. Food works for me. I'm always going to want it. <sighs> but it does mean I won't get so upset when you limit my portions. Because I know that you're doing it because it's good for me and you love me and you want me to live a long, long time. Hey! My belly didn't hit! <gasps> Look! See? Way to go, Martha! <laughs> what about the stairs? <laughs> Losing weight wasn't such a bad thing after all. Can't <laughs> catch me! <laughs> you shouldn't fill up on bread. Too many carbohydrates. Dogs aren't the only ones who need to eat a balanced diet. Humans do too. A balanced diet means you have to eat the right amount of vegetable, dairy, protein, fiber, and fruit. Let me tell you all about it. Filling up on sugar now. You know that it's just not right. Bread's full of empty. Lots of color if you want your life to be long. It's vegetables and fruit that'll help your bones.